pediatrician can talk to families about how important it is in the infant stage to smile with, to your, with your child, play with your child, laugh at your child. The best toy you can give your baby is you. So um, it's that human interaction, the holding, the human touch, the smiling, the engagement that's so important for brain development. Pediatricians can work with local psychologists, social workers, psychiatric facilities to encourage um, places for patients to go if they are dealing with an ACE. In our office, we've invited local psychologists to come in and do lunch and learns with our staff so they can learn more about a particular issue. Um, that not only educates us, it builds the relationship with that psychologist. And then when I send my patients to that psychologist, it's not just a name on the sheet, it's someone that I know and trust and has experience working with patients who are dealing with toxic stress. At the community level, pediatric providers may notice trends among their patients pointing to risk factors that may affect the whole community, like neighborhood violence and other disadvantages that put young children at risk for ACEs. Medical providers can share their insights to help community members understand how to eradicate community-level risk factors. You can communicate information about ACEs through newsletters, lunch and learns, parent groups, and at schools and local events. You can also help shift social norms related to ACEs by promoting positive norms that support children, parents, and families. Pediatricians can relate to their community in joining the local city council meetings, um, even their neighborhood associations, simple ways of getting involved at your child's school if you have children. Um, these are easy ways to make the community involved and encouraged and wanting to support um, investigating ACEs and making sure that children are getting the appropriate care they need. At the societal level, Pediatric medical providers can educate public officials and other decision makers about issues like ACEs. There are also professional organizations in place to help medical providers share information and inform solutions that can affect change at the societal level. Among others, these organizations include the American Academy of Pediatrics, the American Academy of Family Physicians, and the National Association of Nurse Practitioners. And by working together, Pediatric medical providers can use their influence to support efforts to improve the health and well-being of children and families at the societal level. Past examples include the Safe to Sleep campaign, advances in product safety like improvements to toys to diminish choking hazards, broader use of car restraints in car seats, home visitation programs, the medical home, a model for health care that is patient-centered comprehensive, team-based, coordinated, and accessible. Accessible health care for children. Well, you can work with a larger organization, such as your local AAP chapter. This would help engage legislators in terms of expanding care for children who have Medicaid, expanding mental health coverage and services. In the long term, you know, it, it's great if I can refer a patient, but if they can't get in with a psychologist because they don't have insurance or the insurance doesn't cover mental health benefits, um, it really does no good to have that resource for the patient. Take a moment now to review what you've learned in this lesson.